Lord Janner has appeared in court for the first time to face 22 charges of child sexual abuse. His defence team had argued that the 87-year-old shouldn't have to appear before magistrates in person because he's suffering from dementia. But earlier today, a judge warned that he would be arrested if he failed to attend. This report from our Home Affairs correspondent Tom Simons contains some flashing images. Threatened with arrest, facing charges of sexual abuse over three decades, Lord Janna finally arrived at court after his lawyers failed to prevent the appearance demanded by law. His daughter by his side, a rare glimpse of the veteran Labour politician, who four doctors agree is suffering from severe dementia. The baseball cap had been removed when minutes later he entered the court through a side door. He turned to reporters in the public gallery and chuckled, remarking, isn't that wonderful, before taking his seat. Lord Janna appeared confused, but not distressed. He was able to confirm for the judge his name, and she told him that the case would be passed to Southwark Crown Court for a hearing on the 1st of September, and he left. It was all over in 59 seconds. His health's been deteriorating since before his last speech in the Lords in 2013. His lawyers were worried he could have a catastrophic reaction if he attended court. This morning they argued hard for an appearance by video link, but the Deputy Senior District Judge, Emma Arbuthnot, refused. I'm warning you, she said to Lord Janna's barrister, that as time progresses, I'm going to turn to the prosecution and say, let's get a warrant to have him arrested. Let's not waste time. Lord Jan is accused of 22 child abuse offences between the 1960s and the 80s. His family strongly deny he was involved. His illness is likely to mean he can't defend himself. So there may now be a so-called trial of the facts. No conviction would be possible, but the jury would decide what happened. That would be carried out in his absence. And so this was possibly Lord Janna's first and final appearance in court, which ended with his pursuit by photographers. Next month at the Crown Court, the legal arguments continue. Tom Simons, BBC News, Westminster Magistrates Court.